Hello everyone, my name is Angela. And my name is Jaden. And welcome to Creative Playground, where we're going to show you how you can make something fun out of the materials that you have at home. Jaden, tell us what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this simple Lego conveyor belt. Okay, can you tell us about it? A conveyor belt is a piece of machinery that moves heavy stuff like this from one place to another. Okay, let's demonstrate. Alright, so we can carry something across. That looks pretty cool. Can you tell us where we're going to find conveyor belts? We can find conveyor belts at airports mm -hmm. carrying our luggage bags. Mm -hmm. We can also find them at factories, let's say a Lego factory carrying all our favourite Lego sets. Yeah, and somewhere that I can think of is the sushi train, bringing all the yummy sushis to us. So this is what we're going to be making. Now, if you don't have this equipment at home, no worries. We're going to show you yeah. how you can build this using some of the other craft materials. Yeah. Let's get building. So this is the conveyor belt we are going to be making today. As you can see, when I move this axle, it moves the rubber band, um, which is the belt part, and moves the parcel. To make this, we will need these pieces, two long Lego Technic beams. These are 16 studs. These are Lego Technic because they have holes on the sides. We will need two axles. Axles are these long sticks that is a cross or a sign, whatever way that you hold it. We need four bushes. Tell us what are bushes. Bushes are these, these little cylind cylinders that have the X or plus hole inside. Looking good. And lastly, we need two rubber bands. So to make this, we will need to get our two axles and our four bushes. So grab one axle in a bush and feed it through. Then grab another axle and feed it through. So, so this should roughly be in the middle of your axle. Do it two times. And then grab your two long Lego Technic beams. Hold one sideways like this and put the axle through the first hole. And then grab the other axle and put it in the last hole. Next, get your long Technic beam and close it off so that the axles don't escape. Grab your two rubber bands or one if you're Doing one first and make sure that it's in the middle, it's centered. Centered in terms of the bush, is that what yeah, you mean? One bush, like centered in one bush, if you have. And now you have completed your simple conveyor belt. Alright, let's test, test it, out. it out. That's looking really cool and that's really easy to make. And you can also add this part. All you will need. You got there first? All you will need is these two pulleys and one grey pin. 
Now we need a grey pen because it's a frictionless pen and it'll move more easier, more easily so that the crank, that you can move the crank. First, grab both of your pulleys and make it so that both of these, so that these lines connect if you put a line in the middle. So we're looking at the two crosses in the centre of the pulley and they are now exactly matching. And what don't we want it to look like, Show We don't we want, want it an to look like this. Yeah. Okay. Because these will still attach. Yeah. But the holes won't. won't quite match. Yeah. Okay. So we want to make sure they look exactly the same in the centre hole. And what do we do with them now? So now put it carefully on top of the other one. And then grab your pin. And we're putting and the pin feed through, it through both of the holes. So to check, hold it like this and if you see everything clearly, right through it. <laughs> and then then you've got it correct yes okay so what do we do with that grab your conveyor belt and put the two pulleys in there now you've got a working crank on your con nice let's test it out I like how now we've got a handle to get the conveyor belt working. Nice work there. And now, since you have made your simple conveyor belt, you can go for something a little bit harder. Like this big guy that we made. Tell us about it. What is it? It is a conveyor belt that tilts upwards and then we join both of our conveyor belts with rubber bands and then it goes down the other way. All right, can we test this one? Yes. We are going to test this one by using a Lego motor. So we will need a black pin. A black pin is a friction pin, so it won't move around as much. So we're going to grab our motor and put it in this hole. Now the hole it goes in may be different for you if you've made a different complex conveyor belt. So that's for you to uh, check and problem solve at home. Where do we put it on now? So we put it here. So the axle goes into the orange compartment. So put it like that. If it doesn't go through, put your hand on the other side and move it around until it fits. So you just wanna give it a couple of wiggles while you're pushing them together and then they should all fit in. Now grab your battery and line the faces up so that they look identical, the eyes and the mouth. So put, put it on, now you've got it working. Wow, let's test that. It came out perfectly. Can we do that one more time? Let's sure. do it the other way. Oh, I struggled a little bit. But it came out 
across the bridge. But it made it to the other side. Yeah. Now it's your turn to have some fun at home.